Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today is going to be kind of a big reveal. The room I've been working off of off to the left that way. Um, you guys have been watching the videos on and I'm actually standing in the room. If you watch the shorts, I'm standing in the pool room. So, and it's got a lot of my bedroom stuff in it also because I'm getting ready to redo my bedroom, but you guys already know that. So the big reveal is I'm going to do this and I'll explain to you why I'm doing this video, but the big reveal is what is this stupid room that I'm building? I think you guys can already pretty well figure it out. Yes. The interior walls are in. I'll explain that also. Let's turn on the light here. All right, so everybody was wondering what that cavity is going to be for. Well, that cavity is for what's in that box right there. And then that big box right there goes right there. And this big box over here, if you can tell what it is, goes right here. And then this, which I'm sure you can tell what it is. And you can see all the sawdust and everything in it. So yes, that's what this bedroom is going to be. That's hence that door. That insulation does not go there. I'm working on the door right now. The black that you see down here is not to be concerned with. It is not mold. It's already been sprayed down with bleach just in case, but no, it's not mold. This used to be an exterior wall and my dad, when he built it, did not use house wrap. And I don't know why. But you can see some up here where we had a leak at one time. There's no leak there now. Yes, I did buy a rain head. I'm just kind of trying it out, see what it's going to look like in here. The bathtub is not where it goes. Once again, that black looks worse in camera than it is in real life. But it is not mold. It's just weather from outside. So, as you can see, all my walls are up. I was going to film this for you guys, but... I'm in a time crunch right now. Uh, that actually makes it look like that's a seam, and it's not. That's just a marking on the wall. Uh, all the electrical is ran. All the ceiling is put up. Once again, that is not a seam. That's just a black mark. Anyways, now we know what this bed or what this room is going to be. It is going to be very, very, very small. Now we're starting with about an eight by ten and two foot so from this door that we'll pretend is there from there on over is going to be a closet all the way down no that door is just temporary and then there'll be a bathroom vanity which is in that box goes there the bathroom mirror which is in that box goes up there yes that will be insulated on that wall thin insulation i already have it i just I'm not going to put it in until i put in the vanity or the vanity mirror and then that is the new commode and that is the new bathtub i haven't bought the surround yet because i'm not sure what surround i want to go with i have already i didn't buy these i already had these from my business uh the bathtub fixtures the shower head i ordered uh the old shower head well it's new but it's all in that box and then that box over there is my new vanity uh faucet so anyways, now I'll show you what I'm working on now. So let's take a little bit of a walk. There's the hot tub. Of course, it's up to 104 degrees right now. Have not used it yet. It is now winter. Even though I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and I'm comfortable. It's about four days until Christmas. I uh, laid these down just temporary because we did get some snow and I wanted to get out of the snow. I don't want to track it in the house. So those are just temporary. I was going to do that permanent, but I don't like it, so I've got another idea. So in here, in the garage, which is halfway clean, we have door. Now, I cheaped out on this door, and I went to Habitat for Humanity, and I bought it. About 130 for a new one in a frame, 150 somewhere thereabouts. I bought this one for 30 um but it was delaminating and i did not see that that therefore you can see the spots where i fixed I, i've already fixed 
it was actually all delaminated all the way across. I fixed all of that. And I just did that just a few minutes ago. Let that dry overnight. Tomorrow I'll sand it down, put one more coat on it, and this door is done. Uh, and I got the frame painted. It needs a second coat up on the top layer. Over here we have a mess. This is just a temporary table. I also just redid the boys' room. Um, I should have brought you along with all of this, but let me take a seat over here and I'll kind of explain to you. So yeah, we got some inside chairs out here because of Christmas. Um, I'm in a rush on certain things. I have a timeline that I want to hit. I wanted to get my bathroom enclosed and that door taken away and everything so I can start on my bedroom after Christmas. So I had to get that done before Christmas and I just didn't have enough time to film it. And then the boys snuck in on me and said, hey dad, we want you to redo our rooms. So I was fortunate enough, I was able to do that in one week. We may or may not, I think Ricky's taking a nap right now. Colton's at a friend's house. Uh, we may or may not go in there and see what I've done in there. Um, Got that done in a week and was able in that week to also get my bathroom walls up. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got a lot accomplished. Now I'm just kind of tinkering with this door and kind of taking some time off. Uh, got a few little things I want to do inside the house. I'm getting ready to, I think while I'm out here, I'll go ahead and grab some caulking. I think I'm going to start caulking my bedroom ceiling and getting it ready for paint because next is working in the bedroom which let's go take a look at that instead of just sitting here all right we might be able to sneak into colton's bedroom without disturbing ricky they got separate bedrooms but they're side by side so let's go in here and see what we've got all right so we got a mess on the porch yes i know All right, so we go in here and we can see what we've done to Colton's bedroom. Here's Ricky's bedroom. Not much has changed, just the color. And we built him a bed above his dresser so he'd have a little bit of room. And his junk on his end table. And then in here, he was able to make this kind of like his music room. And got stuff laying everywhere. All right, so then we'll go into Colton's room and I'll show you what we did in Colton's room. It's not going to make any sense at first. So Colton's bed is really high. Because over there, in that big present up against the wall, is a new desk. And it's a huge L-shaped desk. Because he's getting a new computer and a monitor and everything for Christmas. And we're going to put his computer desk under here. That hints the chair. So we do know it fits. And fits and gives him quite enough room to grow. And got him a little custom ladder going up to his bed. Um, and he's still got storage underneath the ladder. We painted his room, both the ceiling and the walls. And then his kind of like little... These were originally designed to be a closet, but they never were. So they're just kind of like an opening in his room. Um, and then his dresser is over here. And then his TV is hanging up here. And it's his bedroom's so small, it's hard to get back enough to actually show you. But this is what his bed is now. And his desk will be underneath there. Maybe we'll do a video after we get the desk and everything set up. And, you know, I can sit on that chair and still have plenty of headroom. All right. So now let's go back here. And I'll show you what I'm getting ready to start working on. I'm not going to do the majority of it until after Christmas. But yeah, I got to paint my wall again. I bumped the chair into it because we got the table over here right now. Um, let's see. In here, yeah, got to take trash out. Wow. Should have picked a better day to film, huh? All right, anyway, so in here, you can see we've already got a couple temporary heaters set up in here. One of those goes out there, which is the pool room, 
which that door will no longer be here. And that'll help keep that warm while I'm out there working. And the other one's just an extra one in case. I've already got some texturing over here, drywall mud. Uh, bring it in, let it warm up that way when I start. Because I have to get rid of this door, which means I have to retexture that wall. But you can see when Dad built this, he threw this trim up here kind of haphazardly. And you can see he didn't caulk anything. So I'm going to caulk all that. It's really hard to put trim up flat on a textured wall. You know, you see like this little bump out right here. And, you know, it's hard to put trim flat. So you end up with gaps. But if you paint them or caulk them and then paint them, it looks great. So anyways, we're going to change this ceiling around a little bit. Let me get over here where you can actually see the ceiling. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. You see how Dad kind of gridded it out? Well, I'm going to add another grid about right here all the way down to match that one. And then caulk it and paint it nice and bright white. And the walls, I do believe, are going to go a burgundy color. Almost to match like, uh, more like this. Maybe in between those two. I don't know what that is on there. There we go. But anyways, then we won't have this footboard which has my towel hanging on it right now but that's um that's about where we're going boy i need to take that trash out actually that's ricky's job all right so we'll go back in through here yeah we got the table moved over here normally it goes over there in front of that window but we have all the presents and the tree and everything up right there right now and then of course we've got the fireplace with the stockings on it and that's just that's basically it like i said i've been so busy i haven't really taken time to clean off my porch or anything of that nature but it'll all get done this is just temporary this is just to keep me from walking in the mud <clears throat> if you go back up here and you look at these boots on the porch. This is, you know, see how, see how muddy them boots are? You know, that can happen just walking from the house to the garage. Well, Dad built this, and then I built, no, Dad built both of them. And then I was just going to put this down. I've got all the concrete in here for it. I was going to make, basically make a border. It had been wider than that. A border with blocks around it and then those in there and I was gonna cut this one off yeah I've still got my flip-flops on I was gonna cut this and off at an angle but I think instead I'm gonna cut this one off at an angle and then that one over there is already at an angle and I'm just gonna build a boardwalk a deck basically I got all the extra stuff from the decks I built yeah you can kind of see out there it's just we need to clean up definitely 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 we did get the garage cleaned out Ricky's going to bring his car in here this weekend and work on it. And, well, we just basically need to clean it out. Still got building supplies. That's vinyl siding that won't get used until summertime. Uh, the gun room is actually full. I guess I should say pew pew room is full of all kinds of stuff um, that shouldn't be in there. Building supplies. Um drain line uh i think there's still some insulation in there and then even back here on the hot rod i've got stuff stored over here uh, my new headboard that i made is in the back and then i've got rolls of insulation back here i know you shouldn't treat the car like this right um i don't know if i did a video on it or not but i kind of put a like a little bathroom in here, just a little urinal, uh, made out of an old camper sink. And the extra thing up there used to be dish soap. Now it's just got water in it, uh, which is empty. But basically, when it's full, I'll have to tilt it a little bit to make it work. And pour water down it. That's kind of how you flush it. Um, it was just a quick little temporary setup and it's worked out really good for us and the garage is not clean clean but it's cleaned enough 
but that's what's kind of going on right before Christmas. Um, before Christmas, I'm hoping to have this door completely done and reassembled and put back in the new bathroom, just lay it in there. Because like I said, I haven't cut the wall out or nothing. And then I want to take the temporary door out and fill that wall in and insulate it and house wrap it on the outside and everything so we can be on schedule. I can be on schedule for starting on my bedroom right after Christmas. Christmas is on a Monday. The kids are out on Christmas break for a while. Um, I may spend some time with them doing certain things, so I may not get started the day after Christmas, but that week after Christmas, you know, I'll go into Lowe's, I'll pick out my bedroom color, uh, I've got to get rid of that door, fill all that in, insulate it. I'm going to move a lot of electrical around on that wall to make it custom the way it, it'll be for me. But anyways, that's enough rambling on. We've been into this 16 minutes. I just wanted to give you kind of a a quick video of what's been up and I know you guys are want me to film all this. I just have to get caught up. Now, once Christmas is here, everything's caught up. I should be able to film for you guys getting rid of the door in my bedroom and doing stuff of that nature. So you'll get to see a little more of the construction part. And then of course you'll get to see videos on finishing out my bathroom. Um, I just had to get to this point. So anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we will see you on the next video or next live stream. And I hope you guys have a great, great, great Christmas. I don't even know if you'll even see this video before Christmas. So you probably won't. So I hope you guys have had a great Christmas and I hope you got everything that your hearts wanted and desired and we'll see you guys on the next video.